Hi, I'm Lily. I'm one of the physical therapists here at Breathe, and I'm going to be giving a quick review on the Theracane. So there is a lot of kind of imitation stuff like this out there, but I like the Theracane because it has a simple, really sturdy design. It's not kind of wavy, curvy, and it's the original. Um, so what this is used for is doing muscle release on your own. So some spots that are hard to get with like um, just like a smaller handheld massager where you need like a special angle and to be able to give um, better pressure. So this comes with um, a really nice like simple booklet, not overly complicated, that talks through how to get um, different areas of the body. And I always identified this as a tool to use for working on your neck but there's also a lot of other fun ways that you can get different parts of the body. So honestly, like anything that you're having trouble with um, that you would normally have a massage therapist working on, um, you can look up through this booklet and find um, a way to massage that area. So the way that it kind of talks through the technicalities of this cane are the knobs are numbered. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So all of them can be used for different things, kind of getting different angles depending on what body part you're working on. So first I'll show you how we would use this to work on our upper trapezius muscle. And so with this one, you're just holding it kind of across the body and then finding a spot within that muscle and then you can do just small motions. So really I'm not moving the cane much on my skin, but just kind of going back and forth within one muscle. And you can add a little active stretch with this and that can feel really nice. And then some similar area but a little bit further down is this muscle that's at the corner of our shoulder blade, our levator. And I love getting into this spot with the cane. It's hard to hard to reach spot on your on your own. And so the cane just can hook right back here and applying pressure forward and then a little bit down and really small movements in this area. So it feels kind of has that crunchy um, muscle knotty feel and then Similar to when you're in upper trap, you can add an active stretch with this. So as I'm holding pressure on this muscle, looking down and to my right, back up to the middle, and then looking down and to the right. And then another spot that I was just working on today, my kind of upper back between my shoulder blades was bugging me and so that was actually one of these smaller little knobs that I hadn't used before so the number six one and what we're going to do with that is get this friend behind my back this hand is just here for support this is the one that's the my right hand is the one that's doing the moving but kind of positioning it just to the side of the spine not on the bones that wouldn't feel very good and then holding some pressure and then just small movements again. Sometimes people like the feeling more of holding pressure in one spot, but I like a little bit of motion. Nice, easy way to get some um, kind of nice pinpointed pressure in an area that can be hard to get. A lot of times like pain in this area I might want to use a foam roller across my back, but it doesn't quite like dig into the muscle enough. So I like this for that. And another fun thing that I wanted to show you is how you can use this to work on your forearm muscles. So these things can kind of hook around your legs and then you can lean into it and give as much pressure as you feel like you need. And you can also use your other hand as a guide. So you can do front of the forearm or back, lots of options. Lots of other great things in here. I love this tool um, and I hope you enjoyed this video.